Boy, acne can really affect someone's self-esteem. I had acne really bad going through junior high school and high school, and it really affected my self-esteem. So I would like to share with you something that I wish I knew back when I had acne, because it's so simple to get rid of this if you understand the mechanism. And out of all the things that can create acne, there's one really big vitamin deficiency that you need to know about. But I first want to give you the kind of the mechanism first. Uh, what is acne? Well, it's a situation where you have multiple things going on at once. Um, you have this gland, this oil gland, it's called a sebaceous gland. Okay. And it makes oil and that oil is called sebum. And there's usually a combination of an inflamed sebaceous gland. The gland is now enlarged and it's also producing too much oil. So you usually have some oily skin and there's usually also a bacteria involved, which is affecting the immune system and creating more inflammation. And that's what makes up this redness that forms the pimple. And there's also sometimes associated like these blackheads or whiteheads, which are part of the tissue, part of this whole problem. And typically what is triggering acne is a shift in hormones. Okay. Uh, like puberty, for example, you have this uh, sudden spike of androgens. And also when women have something called PCOS, polycystic ovarian syndrome, um, they also get acne as one of the symptoms simply because there's a spike in androgens. Now I have done a lot of videos on acne before. So I've talked about different things that are involved. And one big thing that you should know is high levels of insulin, because usually you're eating too many carbs. The high carbs triggers the high insulin, which will then increase more androgens. So number one, we have the high carb diet, but we also have something else that's usually involved. It's the frequency of eating that also will trigger insulin. Okay. How many times you eat? So uh, that is called snacking. So the combination of a lot of snacking and carbs are deadly uh, for acne. And so if you want to get rid of acne, you're definitely going to have to go low carb and you're also going to have to do intermittent fasting. So you're going to uh, just cut out the snacks. It'll make a big difference and it'll be worth it. And you won't be hungry if you do this because you're now shifting to burning fat fuel and you're not dependent on the next meal. So you can go for long periods of time without eating. And just the fact that you're fasting in general creates a lot of benefits for your skin, youthful looking skin, anti-aging qualities. Not that you're interested in that if you're a teenager. The vitamin that is involved in acne, it's a deficiency of this one vitamin. And that vitamin is vitamin D. Let's take a look at how vitamin D uh, relates to this. First of all, vitamin D regulates that bacteria I mentioned that's involved with acne. It regulates it, it inhibits it. And so when you're deficient in this vitamin D, you're not gonna have the control over this microbe. And so vitamin D is a very potent antibacterial when it relates to your skin. Number two, when you take more vitamin D, uh, you'll have less of that oil, okay? Less of the sebum. And the actual inflammation and swelling and enlargement of that sebaceous gland will now come down and start shrinking. The cells that make up the sebaceous gland are also greatly influenced by vitamin D3. And also when someone has PCOS, polycystic ovarian syndrome, they're usually always deficient in vitamin D. And so vitamin D is also involved in helping you regulate androgens. And then some people might think that they get enough vitamin D. The great majority of the public especially teenagers are deficient in vitamin D. It's almost impossible to get vitamin D from your diet. Okay. You have to get it from the sun. And many people just are not out in the sun often enough. There's other things that block vitamin D too. A high carb diet, which gives you high sugars will deplete your vitamin D as well. And this is why diabetics are usually always deficient in vitamin D. So we have that. We also have obesity is another factor. The more fat you have on your body, the less vitamin D you're going to have. Also, if you have gut issues, you're going to be low in vitamin D. If your skin is darker, you're going to have a harder time converting the sun to vitamin D. And so there's many factors that cause this vitamin D deficiency and taking vitamin D in larger amounts can be just the thing that you needed to completely get rid of your acne.
So number one, I would recommend taking uh, roughly about 20,000 IUs of vitamin D3 every single day. Number two, I would highly recommend going on a low carb diet. The sugar that you eat or the refined carbs that turn into sugar uh, in your bloodstream actually feed this bacteria that's involved in acne. So we do want to go low carb. The third thing is cutting out the snacks, doing intermittent fasting, at least start out with three meals a day, no snacks, just make those meals bigger. And then eventually skip out breakfast. And then you have two meals that alone will reduce your insulin greatly. And then your androgens will do better. And that might just handle your skin problem right there. And number four, you want to stop scrubbing your skin in this thought that it might be just a dirty skin or the pores are dirty. So you have to scrub it. I used to do that crazy. Every morning I'd be scrubbing and cleaning my skin with soap and using all sorts of um, medication. Nothing actually worked. In fact, it always made it worse because here I am rubbing off all the good bacteria that's supposed to defend against the bad bacteria, not to mention I'm irritating all the inflammation. And so you're doing a lot of bad things to your skin if you over sterilize it or, or scrub it too hard. And then also you want to start consuming foods that have some vitamin D in them. That would be cod liver oil. That's a really good one. And the reason I like cod liver oil is because it not only has vitamin D, but it also has vitamin A, another important vitamin in acne. This is why like Accutane, which is a synthetic version of vitamin A uh, has been used in the past for acne course, it causes some slight minor complications like increased risk for suicide and liver failure. But other than that, it's perfectly fine. Fatty fish like salmon, halibut would be really good to get some good vitamin D. Now, the question is, what food do you eat if you're no longer going to eat carbs? Well, for that information, I put this video up right here. Check it out. Before you go real quick, I have a course entitled How to Bulletproof Your Immune System. It's a free course. I want you to take it. And here's why. Here's you. Here is your environment. Everyone is focused on this over here, avoiding your environment. But what about here? What about strengthening your immune system? That's what's missing. This course will show you how to bulletproof yourself. And so you can tolerate and resist your environment much better by strengthening your own immune system. I put a link down in the description right down below. Check it out and get signed up today. Hey, before.